Communications is very important to me and very important to most members of Parliament. How do we communicate back to the constituents what we're doing here? I'm trying to break new ground in how MPs communicate with people. So typically I'll be up at 6 or 7 o'clock in the morning doing a blog entry for the day to try and get the dialogue started with people. We, uh, we do webcasting here as well, so there's Bruce right here, um, and Bruce is uh, uh, on my staff and, and he's, uh, he creates a video every day for our webcast. I mean, this is, this is different. This is, I'm the only guy crazy enough to do this in Parliament Hill. But to me, it's all part of bringing Canadians into this thing called Parliament that for so long has been a closed old boys club. Ooh, the internet. That's cool. Websites. RSS feeds, XML. But MPs give common speeches everyone ignores, hold press conferences everyone but we media types ignore, and attend ceremonies everyone ignores. Is an online presence any different? Is anyone listening in cyberspace either? It's important for people to bring their voices to Ottawa, not for MPs to go back and tell people what to think or here's what the party wants, or here's what the government wants you to think. Um, people are completely jaded by that. Uh, they just tune out. Uh, so it's important for them to have this, this vehicle that comes this way instead of that way. And that's where the internet, webcasting and everything else can help. Because we get this whole new channel of communication coming this way.